Hello, good people. I welcome you once again to this interesting episode. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. If you're joining me for the very first time, do well to like and share this video and don't forget to follow our media handles. God bless you. My people, I don't really understand why APC is always fighting with journalists whenever they are in the public space. Why is APC always fighting with journalists and as well as PDP? Instead of either, either, either they fight with journalists or they begin to call people to be out. That is not the Nigeria you and I wishes to have. We want a sane Nigeria where politicians will come on public space and tell us categorically what they want to do for the country. I don't want to talk too much. More than I see the fight by ourselves. And the team, the fight will shock on ourselves. But in all fairness, some people ask you that what records does President Muhammadu Buhari want to campaign on if he draws the campaign trail? Because it's been a litany of failures. I'm sure you just heard about the Edo incident again. Since March last year, it's another train attack. We've not learned our lessons. You talked about staying on the issues. Uh, your question... Uh, hang on a minute. Let me finish, please, my question. Your question... Professor, let me finish my question, please. I beg you. Yeah. You talk about staying on yes, the issues. Yes, I'm interjecting you because I'm not even hearing you well. Please refresh your question like uh, just a question, not an uh, implied question. Professor, you cannot teach me my job on national Understand. TV. You don't make please. an implied question as a journalist, my brother. Professor, you cannot teach Just me my job. Just ask me the way other journalists ask me. Okay. I cannot Secondly, hear you well, please. The litany of failures, like I said. No, go to the first what, question, please, not second. I have not had you well. What, what is the president going to campaign on the campaign trail, holding to the fact that there's been a litany of failures in the economy and in security? My second question, you talked about people not addressing the issues. Your campaign, just like other campaigns, and in all fairness and balancing, has been dogged by personal attacks. Your presidential candidate was calling somebody the other day, customs officer, sorts of insult, Mr. Stingy. Most of your campaigns, your presidential candidate doesn't even address the manifesto. He went to Edo State. He said they would turn Yahoo boys around. The Edo state government has issued a statement for blacklisting their youth as Yahoo boys. And it's just been abuses. Your presidential candidate calls said another candidate will labor in vain. And, you know, it's just been a litany of abuse. So I've not heard anything in the way of manifesto by your political party. So I'm shocked that you're saying that people are not staying on the issues when your party doesn't stay on the issues. My brother, let me answer your amplified campaign for opposition. Because your questions, I've been watching you for over time. Most of your questions, they are like campaign against APC. Uh, when you said comparatively, PDP was in power 16 years, and there is a comparative analysis. If you say we never had it this worse, that means we have to go back and see how we inherited the government, what we have done. You are talking about insecurity. You and I know how this country was, even in your studio. I must be searched for people to come. This, your crew that are here, before they pass my gate, they must be searched with some uh, detective, uh, uh, mental detectives uh, uh, apparatus. Now, let's go back to BBC report of 2004. Between Kaduna and Plateau, 50,000 people were killed. This is BBC report that I'm just giving you. Now, you see violence or crime in nature you see, you don't, if people decided to come here or any criminal that decided to attack me here, no security can stop it. Why? Because it's the ability of that security to arrest that person. And I think in that Edo, I was, I read that one person was arrested, some people were rescued. And again, if you say what this government have done, I don't have to tell you, or I don't have to, let's, let's look at it this way. The, 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 in terms of infrastructure, you are a journalist, you can bear witness what this government have achieved. It's okay, so moving on from there, I would also like to ask you this. You talked about yes. your manifesto, and you talked about the fact that, yes, you've been campaigning hard, people on the grassroots about your manifesto, and all of that, which is good, which is a good yes. way to campaign. But why is it that your candidates just spends all the time to abuse other candidates? Nigerians want to hear the issues, not abuses. 
Why is I think that I have case? replied you. I have seen I have seen the candidate of one party, Atiku Abubaka, where he said that he stopped our candidate from bringing uh, drugs into this country. You are not talking about that. I have seen the town hall meeting of uh, Peter Obi, yes. what he was saying, and you are not talking about that. I don't know whether you have a particular interest in our candidates because I have seen series of any APC member that appeared on your program. Sometimes you leave the ethics of journalism, my brother. You'll be attacking us as if you are a campaigner. You do to spare me from doing my job. You can't stop me from asking the objective questions I always ask. It's not doing your so job. So you can keep playing your politics and enjoy your job. Your questions are out. Uh, yeah, implied question. Let me just tell you, Ruben, Dr. Ruben was a spokesman of the president under PDP. But since he left that place, he adjusted himself to a journalist. I pray that you can do that to yourself. Prof Prof Professor Medina, Professor Medina, we thank you very much for joining us on the morning show. So I love, you know, just played out here, but it is very obvious that APC, both APC chieftain and their principal, the presidential candidate, they go about abusing P2B in all honesty. In Edo, he, he abused Pitobi. He also abused the people of Edo State. In Akure, he, he did the same thing. Wherever he goes, they call Pitobi out. That is, not, that is not the Nigeria you and I wishes to have. We want a Nigeria where a presidential candidate will come and tackle questions head on and tell Nigerians his blueprint, how he intends to move Nigeria out from consumption to production, just like P2B always do whenever you see him in any rally or even in a town hall meeting. Go and get your PVC and see you sooner again. Bye for now.